Hello and welcome to this uh, video on sketching the graph of 1 plus tan into 2x minus 5 over 2. Uh, I hope you find it interesting and here we go. Okay, uh, you have to forgive my ed editing skills. Uh, this is the, the, the normal graph for uh, tan x and we can see that for one of the sections uh, x is greater than minus pi over 2 and uh, it's less than pi over 2 and we, we can see the asymptotes at minus pi over 2 and uh, pi over 2. Right, uh, you have to excuse my um, editing I'm afraid, um, sorry about this. Uh, the objective is to sketch the graph of 1 plus tan into 2x minus pi over 2 and this is what I got. And if, if we forget the 1 for now and concentrate on tan uh, 2x minus pi over 2, we know that uh, the ordinary tan uh, x graph is valid between uh, minus uh, pi over 2 and pi over 2. That gives you a period of uh, cycle 180, period 1. And so if we now say that 2x minus pi over 2 is is greater than minus pi over 2 but less than pi over 2. If we now add uh, pi over 2 to each term, we end up with pi over 2 minus pi over 2 and, uh, and then pi over 2 plus pi over 2. So in effect 2x is greater than pi over 2 minus pi over 2 and is less than pi over 2 plus pi over 2. And we end up with 2x is greater than 0 and is less than pi. If we now divide each term by 2, we have that x is greater than 0 and, and x is less than pi over 2, which then seems to us that we've got a cycle of pi over 2. And, and that's what I've got here. So and to get from 0 to pi, which is normal cycle for a tan x graph, we, we have to have two cycles. The first one from 0 to pi over 2 and the next one from pi over 2 to, to pi. Hence the 2 in the function we've got here. And for my red graph, for the graph, of, for the graph in question, we've got our symptoms at pi, pi over 2, 0, uh, minus pi over 2, and then minus pi. Okay, uh, you have to forget my editing skills, which is uh, very poor, especially at the bottom here. Now, it's time to bring in the one we've sort of neglected from the outset. So, if we have what, 1 plus tan to 2x minus pi over 2. Now, the, the only difference between um, the graph for tan into 2x minus pi over 2 and the graph for 1 plus tan to 2x minus 2 is where the graph cuts the x-axis. Nothing else will change. The asymptotes will be the same, the period will be the same, the cycle will be the same. So, and this is that the green graph is my sketch for 1 plus tan to 2x minus pi over 2. Now, the question now is how did I get my uh, how did I get where the graph calls the uh, x-axis? If we say that uh, f of x is 0, that's 1 plus time to 2x minus 4, 2x minus pi over 2 is equal to 0. If we add minus 1 to both sides, we end up that time into 2x minus pi over 2 is equal to minus 1. If, if we now take the inverse of tan for minus 1, for the arc sign, so arctan minus 1, we have that 2x minus pi over 2 is equal to minus 0 0.785398, which is same as pi minus pi over 4. If we now uh, add pi over 2 to both sides, we end up that 2x is equal to pi over 4. Uh, multiply both sides by half, we have a pi that x equal to pi over 8. So, the our graph is going to cut the x-axis at the point pi over 8. 
and bearing in mind that we got a cycle of pi over 2 so if we add pi over 8 to pi over 2 or pi over 8 plus 4 pi over 8 we get 5 pi over 8 and if we subtract if we do minus 8 sorry if we do pi over 8 minus um, pi over 2 which is 4 pi over 8 we get minus 3 pi minus 3 pi over 8 so that, so those are my points on the x axis I mean you can find some more uh, if you want to do that so and that's what the graph looks like uh, what I've done is I've, I've, I've redrawn this graph uh, in the next slide to make it um, a bit clearer than it is here well I, I hope this uh, uh, slide is, is is clearer than the last slide uh, please I hope you subscribe and I, I look forward to hearing from you and, and thank you for watching and have a good day and bye bye see you soon bye bye